It's talking about drinking. I got a DUI in Disney World. <laughs> there I was, driving down the sidewalk, minding my own business. Here comes this cop pulling me even further over. He's got an attitude right off a jump street. He's like, son, I need to see your license and registration place. I'm like, really? You need to see my license and registration when you got like six witches running crazy in these goddamn parks? You know who I saw at the Magic Kingdom today, dude? Jafar, that's right, he's loose. <laughs> Signing autographs, rubbing that in your face. He's like, son, those characters are fictional. And by the way, my brother plays Jafar at the Magic Kingdom. Well, it seems like it's a small world after all, douchebag. <laughs> I did. I had to get a, I got a DUI. It was a big pain in the ass. I got, a, I got a lawyer. He gave me some really good advice. He said, JC, no matter what, if you get pulled over and the cop knows you're drunk, say nothing to him. Not a word. Just refer him directly to me. I was like, all right, that's what I'll do. So I went out drinking, went out driving. <laughs> Test the theory out. I got pulled over. Cop came up to my window. I was like, son, I can smell alcohol on you and your friend's breath. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm like, officer, I'm going to have to refer you to my lawyer. He's in the back seat. He came out drinking with us. <laughs> Just go talk to him. He's in the back seat. Cop walked to the back of the car. My lawyer stepped out of the vehicle. Cop was like, sir, what do you have to say for your client? Drinking and driving. My lawyer straightened up his suit and he was like, woo! Yeah. Yeah. Worked out for me. I did not get a DUI because I just drove away while the cop was beating the out of my lawyer. Very good. Worked out. I hate this phrase. I don't like this phrase. Somebody must have really been looking out for him. I don't like that phrase. Because the only time you hear that phrase is when something really awful happens to somebody, but it doesn't go awful enough. <laughs> Did you hear about Tom? He fell out of a two-story building, broke his spine, but he lived through it. Somebody must have really been looking out for him. <laughs> Nobody was looking out for Tom. <laughs> Nobody even told him there was an open window behind him. If somebody would have really been looking out for Tom, when he fell out of the window, he would have landed on a trampoline. It would have bounced him right into another open window where there was a porn star sitting there with her legs spread open, right inside of her. Whoa! This worked out kind of good. <laughs> somebody must have really been looking out for me. 